we did a show in Brighton a few years ago on tour and it wasn't even that good a show like it was it was, everyone enjoyed it everyone had a good time but like it was not a, a one of those we do the odd show where it really is like seamless emotional hilarious perfection even though it's improvised you, that you, you sometimes tie it up in the bow at the end you tie it up in the bow at the end there's a counter plot going on yeah. there's an undercurrent under here everything comes together somehow um this was uh not one of those shows it was absolutely f- good it was great but it wasn't like that and we got an email from someone afterwards furious complaining uh saying I am incensed that you insist on still pretending this that it's improvised. It is so obvious that it's not improvised, <laughs> that it's insulting that you keep pretending this. You obviously decide the plot in advance um, and then just hang a title on it. Can I just say, this is one of the many reasons why Rachel and I are, are such good friends, because this story doesn't involve me in any way, but I am absolutely fucking incensed. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will carry this story with me for the rest of my life. My and Rachel got an email from somebody who thought ostent- ostentatious was scripted. <laughs> what is right, you know? Oh, I forgot to say as well. They said, so we took a suggestion. We always take like a few suggestions from the audience for the title. And we took a nine-year-old girl's suggestion for the title. It was very cute. And this person said... Also, awful that you installed a stooge no, in the audience. No, no, no. <laughs> we were uh, like, what, that child? That uh, incredible. Get back in the van. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're in Norwich tomorrow. Come on. <laughs>